All right, welcome back everyone. Today is day two of treating the bumblefoot. Um, me and Claire are out here. We're gonna go collect eggs real quick and then we are going to start on the process of soaking it and bandaging it again. So, and then tomorrow we should be able to remove the plug. All right, we got the Epsom salt water. Soaps out today. She really wants to go into the chicken right. coop. We got Grace, oh, we got mom today. Here, show the bandage, both of them. So, all right. Now we'll start taking it off. Yeah, the poor chicken, huh? You make it better, though. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, we're gonna make her better. She has a boo boo. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, boo boo. Yep. Yeah. Tomorrow, though, it will be a hundred percent better. Better. Yep, we're making it better for it. Oh, we wow. can already see. It already looks <laughs> way good. Yep, it already looks a hundred percent better. All right, so got that band-aid off. We're gonna show you here, right there. That's the bumble foot. So what we're gonna do awesome. real quick is spray it um, with peroxide. It's not, see how it's looking yesterday, it pussed up stuff. It's not even pussing up today, which is great. Oh, we killed a lot of bacteria. Yeah, so. I tell you what, this she can cut it. This stuff is excellent. This tape we bought at the dollar store. My wife picked it up there. It works great. Um, I, I can tell you that for chickens that's still getting around and stuff like that. So here's the bumblefoot. This one actually to me looks worse than the other one did, yeah. uh, except for size wise. But. And it's, it's still, you can tell there's a little bit of bacteria. bacteria in it. We're gonna treat it with the peroxide again today. And then we're going to put the prid on it also again today, and bandage it up and uh, get this chicken back on to the men's. You gonna soak it first? Oh yeah, yeah we gotta soak it again. <laughs> so now we're gonna <laughs> soak her feet again and get that in there. Got to check the. It's it's 11:44. Yep. 11:44. So, 10 minutes. Yeah, approximately 10 minutes. Hi there. Garrett, you? while you're waiting. Sophie was trying to feed the ducks leaves, so I brought her some food. So I'm gonna surprise her so she can feed them. Hey, Soph, do you want to feed the ducks? Okay, come here. Right over here. Just come pour it in. Here. Ready? She's not quite tall enough. Awesome. We can, I will let you feed them when we move them. Good job, Soph. What do you want? More. More what? More. More, more duck food? Uh, yeah. Can I give you some once we move the ducks? How about we feed the chicken? What's the timing? She kind of so, splashed everywhere. Yeah, she's kind of. She's feeling frisky now. It's getting better for her, which is good. We want her to heal up. Her and our rooster. Have you All right. On side. Yeah. Hey, come on, Soph. Come look at the. Now the it's fishy. time for the prayer. Looking at that. Yeah, there's just like.
in that uh, little kit you bought, there's like some tweezers. Did you get them? Probably not. Look at that. I'm getting it out. The pus, at least. You know? The only thing is, you can't really see it on camera just because it blends it's okay. in. I was going to say, don't squeeze it too hard. So we got a lot of pus out of the swollen foot. So we're putting her back in the salt bath. Oh yeah, you can tell she it's didn't really like it. Today, yeah. yeah. We just used a little tool to pick the kind of scab thing. This one was the smaller bumblefoot, and I think for the most part, we're gonna get all of it out today. Maybe you should just try to pull it out. I'm going to. with you I think that's something that we should have in our first aid. Yeah it's it's for humans. But yeah. but down down This part's the hardest part. You put any glass on there? No. No, it. This stuff actually. Do you want to though? Because that one has pus in it? No. I. Yesterday I was very impressed with how well this tape does. And we put enough on there that. Uh, that. Uh, it's. It patted their feet and. You know did everything just fine. I'm surprised they didn't even like pick it off or anything. No. I they, thought they would just get annoyed with it. Yeah, they they did not. So I think it might stay, I don't know. You're okay, girl. I know, that's probably a sore foot. You'd probably be limping around, but we got you doctored good. Okay. Next one. You're done. All right, let me see his foot. Good deal. Bandage held up well. Can tell he's been in the mood. Yeah. He stinks. Yeah, don't don't touch them. Yeah, they're dirty. Yeah. Oh yeah. Look at See that. that one? That prid does such a wonderful job of just... This one's going to be satisfying. Yeah. She just, just come out. I mean, it's the swelling's already went down. It's only in one of his foot. Yeah, that. he's only got one. I don't know if I'll pull this off today. Um, yeah, I think one more day of it, it will look good. So we'll just soak him. We put the peroxide on, not a lot of 
action off of that, so that's a good sign. It means, you know, there's a little bit, but yeah. So we're gonna start soaking him, um, his foot, and uh, go from there. Somebody check the time. Yeah, we'll check the time here in just a second. So you're good there, buddy. It's almost like he doesn't want to crow. You know, yesterday he was, oh, oh. he was Let's super mellow. He's too. obviously feeling better today. Otherwise, oh, let's get in my phone. <laughs> Pull that off. There it is. Pretty nasty looking. Surprised it come off pretty easy only one day um, There's still a lot more in here We need to get out We'll get as much out as we can today And then we'll put Prid back on it and do it again tomorrow and Hopefully we get it all out. I heard you have to get it all out Otherwise it can come back And we don't want it to come back. Let me get this guy healed up. Um, he's bleeding pretty good today, which we haven't had that before. I guess but, uh, yeah, it's some pretty nasty stuff that gets in there, infection wise. So, we're going to get him all healed up and he'll be back to. Doing his business, crowing like son of a gun. I will pack it. So there's a pretty good size wound. Yep. Indent. And this prid is really good for us, so I'm packing that in there. Putting it all around so it'll help heal this guy up so he can get back to crowing and doing all that he should be doing he's doing really good he's a really good bird he's a death layer probably our most expensive bird we have we spent a lot of money on him when we bought him but I really think the bumblefoot came from um, this year's the first year we used wood chips and they're wood chips that just, you know, from our our um, local uh, tree cutter. And I think what happened is, because we've never had bumblefoot before in any of ours. We've been doing this for 10 plus years. Oh. Um. All the stuff came off. Dang. So we are restarting the process because he jumped for some reason. Not really sure why. We're using dollar store uh, medic stuff tape and all that it works really good for this helps keep the cost down too I highly recommend having it in your case for your all your chicken needs I mean I'm sure you could use it for goats and, and anything else that might need to be wrapped up stuff works good it's very economical um, pretty much everything we bought except for the prid and the um, and the, uh, whatchamacallit, the peroxide. Sometimes they have the peroxide at, at the store, there at the dollar store. This time when my wife went to get all these great supplies for us, they didn't have it. So, um, we just had to get it at Walgreens. It still wasn't too expensive. We got the spray bottle because that's what the people used in the video that we seen it on. So we just went with the same stuff. And, uh. We use this tape. If I could stretch it right, I could, but using gloves and everything's a little wet this time around. Um, 
I'm just going to use the neon tape just to make sure it kind of stays on there. We did this yesterday too and they seem to stay on pretty good. Mm -hmm. I think he's going to be fine. Um, we got that bumble out of there. I think he's going to be just fine. We'll find out. But I think it was good progress. Um, I think we're going to have a full recovery with them all. I don't think we're going to have any issues. Only time will tell.